No one's gone below two minutes before at the Sea Games. Tung Wen's trying to be the first to do that. And having seen already what Joe has done and what Wilson, Wilson has done, he might just be very tempted to go very quick because uh, that is his only race for the evening. He's probably not going to have any close competition though. So I don't know if he'll, he'll go under two minutes. Um, all the races that we've seen have been very tight races and basically the first and second place swimmers have pushed one another to the end. But for the tournament of backstroke, I think Zhang Wen's in another class compared to his competitors, similar to what we saw yesterday in his tournament meter butterfly. His sister defending her title. This is Kwa Ting Wen's 20th medal in individual events at the Sea Games. And her fifth gold medal in an individual event. Three of those five have come in the 100 meters freestyle for Kwa Ting Wen. So what happened in 2015, it's the same order this time around in 2017. I think the podium has to be switched a little bit, it was the wrong position. See, that's what happens, Gerald, when you get someone like Tian Vien winning silver, she's not used to winning silver, she stands in the wrong position. She's used to being right. in the middle, right? Yeah, exactly. Jasmine Alcaldi has to settle for bronze yet again. Hopes were so high for her to end that streak. Becoming the first Filipina to win 100 meters freestyle since Akiko Thompson in 1989. And then becoming the first Filipina female swimmer to win the a gold medal since Akiko did it in 1993. The streak still goes on though. Winless drought. But she has an opportunity in the 50 meters butterfly. As I said, not used to being the bridesmaid, being in second spot. Well, she's clocked a personal best time and a new national record. But not good enough for gold. Just 0.101 seconds, not good enough. Phong Nguyen Tian Vien. She must have thought that she did it. She too going in the 50 meters butterfly, the race that happens right after this ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, gold medalist and SEA Games champion with a new games record of 55.74 seconds. Not a new national record for Kwa Ting Wen, but still unbeatable in Southeast Asia. Interestingly, all three girls are going to go back and then get yeah. ready for the 50 meter butterfly. Yeah, exactly. So, fair play. It will be a fair field. What a victory this one was. And probably one that she'll savor more than the other two that she gained in 2009 and 2015. Because she really had to show her metal and her steel and her character in that race. Winning by 0.01 seconds, Kwa Ting Wen, winner in the 100 meters freestyle again.
the SEA Games since 2005, where as a teenager she competed in the long distance events. And then from 2007 onwards she won her first gold medal in the 400 meters individual medley. In 2009 was her breakout year, winning in the Asian Youth Games and then the SEA Games. She was a top performer at the SEA Games. She didn't appear at the 2011 Games. Had in the last couple of SEA Games, clinching goal yet again in the 100 meters freestyle. But over the years, 12 years at the SEA Games, I've never seen Kwa Ting Wen this emotional. I don't know whether it means this might be her last Games. I think it might be. Uh, you know, she's graduated from college in the US for a couple of years, so I think she's been training full time for it. Um, probably at some point in time, this could be the last one. She may still you know, train and, and, and train and work um, until next year's Asian Games. That could be her swan song, but um, very likely that I think this could be her final SEA Games. Well, she certainly passed the torch for a bunch of young swimmers that are coming up and competing for Singapore. She has been a magnificent team captain and she of course was the Singapore flag bearer at the opening ceremony of the last SEA Games too. So she will have wonderful memories of uh, the Southeast Asian Games from 2005 to 2017. That is if 17 is her swan song.